Hello everyone and welcome to the Midsummer Fire Festival happening right here in Booty Bay. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually at the beach. This is a green screen. Anyways, this event runs from June 21st until July 5th, leaving you plenty of time to go ahead and get some achievements, as well as the Ribbon Dance buff, which grants additional experience while leveling which is a wonderful opportunity to level up those alts that you might be wanting to get the Mage Tower on before it goes away forever. I know I will be. Now, nothing new has been added in 2018, but I'm going to go ahead and do an overview of the event itself, all of the achievements that you can get. Without further ado, I present to you the guide. This event is to celebrate the summer solstice in the hottest season of the year here in Azeroth. For the next week and a half, you'll be pole dancing, tossing torches, and starting and putting out bonfires, and don't forget preventing the end of the world of Warcraft. There are a number of achievements that you can get during this event, all culminating in the Flame Warden Flame Keeper title in progress towards the What a Long Strange Trip It's Been meta achievement, resulting in the Violet Proto Drake as well as some cosmetic items, toys, and a few pets that are only available right now. For the most part, you'll be spending a bulk of your time flying all around Azeroth to honor your flame and desecrate the enemy's fire. And I recommend downloading an incredibly helpful add-on, Candy Buckets. This will show you all of the flames that you can interact with across the entire world right there on your map in the game. Seriously, getting this add-on is a no-brainer and will make this so much easier. I recommend easily downloading it through the twitch.tv client. These fires are mandatory if you want to collect as many of the event's currency as you can. Each fire you honor gives you 5 burning blossoms, and desecrating the enemy's flame gets you 10, and a quest worth of experience from each one, so I would certainly recommend doing this on a character who actually needs the experience. Speaking of experience, you can also gain the Ribbon Dance buff, which provides 10% additional experience from killing monsters for 3 minutes, stacking up to an hour. Be careful though, this buff does go away upon death, although it's not the best buff in the world. While the Burning Blossoms are extremely valuable currency, you can also use one to reignite a flame that has been extinguished in a zone, which gives you a very strong buff, allowing you to kill things a little bit faster. And with zone scaling the way it is, this will actually help you quest a lot more than it did in years past. Once a day, you can queue for the Icy Elemental Lord Ahun, starting at level 20 for quick dungeon experience and more Burning Blossoms. For those at 110, all of the gear Ahun can drop is 880 item level, including the Frost Scythe and the Cloak. Let's jump into the quests and achievements associated with the Fire Festival. First, talk to a commoner and they will send you to a major city where the hub of the experience is at. The first quest you'll see is to find a Searing Scorchling and give it a Summer Incense. Your reward is one Burning Blossom, but it's a hot little event. <laughs> the pun there. You'll also find two more quests here from the Master Fire Eater, Torch Tossing and Torch Catching. I hate these quests, but they give a good amount of Burning Blossoms and open up the only dailies you get. For Torch Tossing, you'll want to take the Practice Torch and bind it to one of your hotkeys. It helps a lot. Stand near the blue bonfire and hover your mouse over the brazier that have a red error over them and throw the torch quickly. You have to hit 8 targets, 20 in the daily version of the quest. Torch catching though is the absolute worst. You'll have to light the unlit torches at the bonfire and follow the shadow of the torch to catch it before it hits the ground. Just standing there counts as catching it and you will immediately throw it again. Catch it 4 times in a row to complete the quest, 10 times for the daily quest. There is no real trick for this. I recommend doing it by the Exodar or Silver Moon. The less people, the easier it is to do this and not get somebody else's shadow confused for your own. This quest will also give you five juggling torches needed for an achievement. We'll get back to that later. The other quest chain is a bit cooler, pun intended. The Earthen Ring Elder will give you the quest Unusual Activity, which requires you to head to the Zorum Strand of Ashenvale and complete the quest chain it gives you making you head to the Dark Portal in Hellfire Peninsula to kill an elemental and ultimately leading you to take on Frost Lord Ahun himself. This opens up a daily called Striking Back, which rewards 10 Burning Blossoms. There are different level brackets for this daily, 64 or higher is the one that will always head to Hellfire. That's it for quests! Besides each and every fire located throughout Azeroth and beyond, so let's just jump into achievements. You will need 410 total Burning Blossoms to complete all of the achievements, and since you have to do every fire, you'll easily have enough. 
For the achievement Burning Hot Pole Dance, you need to purchase the Mantle of the Fire Festival, Vestment of Summer, and Sandals of Summer, and dance around the ribbon for 60 seconds. This will cost you a total of 400 Burning Blossoms, and you can buy these from the vendor in any major city that's next to that blue bonfire where you get the daily quest from. For Torch Juggle, you need to purchase 5 to 10 additional juggling torches. Head to the Northrend Dalaran and bind the torch to an action bar. Hover the mouse over your character and just spam the juggling torch. You'll get this in no time. That's all you need for Burning Blossoms, but if you want all of the pets, it will cost you 1,050 Burning Blossoms, 1,700 for the four toys, and 750 for the cosmetic stuff. However, the maximum amount of Burning Blossoms you can get per character per year is only 1,632. So you need to do everything on a couple characters. Yeah, me neither. There are four pets available during the event, and all of them will sell for quite a bit on the auction house once the event is over. The Frigid Frostling drops from Ahoon, the Spirit of Summer, the Blazing Cinder Crawler, and the Igneous Flameling are all available for 350 blossoms each. This would be where I would recommend spending your blossoms. Moving on with the rest of the achievements. Desecration of the Alliance or Desecration of the Horde will require you to get all of the extinguishing achievements from Cataclysm, Northrend, Outland, Eastern Kingdoms, and Kalimdor. You can skip Pandaria, Draenor, and Broken Shore if you so choose. Again, getting the add-on candy buckets is going to make this easy and painless. The Fires of Azeroth will require you to honor all of the fires in the aforementioned zones. And again, candy buckets will save your day. King of the Fire Festival will require you to complete the quest A Thief's Reward by stealing the flames from your enemy's capital cities. This requires you to sneak into the four capital cities and steal their flame. Exodar and Silvermoon are going to be the hardest since you can't fly there, but the others will be easy peasy, especially if you're on a druid. This will also reward you with the crown of the fire festival. Next, we have Ice the Frost Lord. Q4 and defeat Lord Ahun. Finally, getting the burning hot pole dance and torch struggler will get you all of the achievements and earn you the flame keeper achievement for the horde and the flame warden achievement for alliance. And that's it! Midsummer Fire Festival has been completed. Feel free to do as many dailies as possible and get those rare pets. Seriously, those things are going to sell for a ton. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I stream World of Warcraft right here on YouTube every Monday through Friday at 9am EST. If you have any tips for how to complete the Midsummer Fire Festival very quickly, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender.